Hello, this is Jason. And we are at Pint House Pizza. I say we, even though it's just me at the moment. But I'm meeting the guys here, my co workers. And this is a pretty awesome place. They make great beers, make some of my favorite beers actually. It's not only a pizza place, but it's a brewery as well. And they make some awesome beers. Electric Jellyfish and Training Binds are two of my favorites. Hazy IPAs, they're both hazy IPAs. Electric Jellyfish is 6.5% alcohol and Training Binds is 7%. I think I'm gonna go with the training binds today. Hello. I'm gonna go with the uh, like the works pizza, the combo that has yeah, the small special. Yeah, with the salad that has I think it's the pine house salad that has like pecans on it. And a training binds. Did you want to be done before our next lunch meeting, right? Yep, I'll be gone next week. Oh, next week? Okay. Going to Ohio for two weeks. Uh, for Thanksgiving, little family torture? A little family torture for the year. I gotta get the family torture in. And you did your Skyline Chili too while you're out? No, I'm not going there. That's, that's Southern Ohio. That's where like my cousin was. Uh, but I'm going to Northeastern Ohio where Skyline Chili doesn't exist. Ah, I didn't know that there was its own. Yeah, it's very, very regional Cincinnati. Ah, got it. Okay. Cincinnati Chili. Around that area. Are you going to get your pizza then? Was it the pizza place that you... Oh, yes. That's the uh, Sunrise Pizza. Yeah, it's yes. Nice my, one of my favorite pizzas in the world. Yep. I have, to, I have to preserve all my memories of these lunches. They're not going to last forever. So the first one that died. Remember when Jerry was at lunch? <laughs> well, I'll, I'll be watching him in Bangkok. <laughs> Remember when we had those special lunches? Yep. Look back on these fond memories. How long are you visiting? Uh... I'm going to Bangkok for a month, but a month, okay. I'll probably be living there within a year. All right. <laughs> Especially if I like it. Like you know, I'm saying that now, but expectation doesn't always meet reality. So maybe if I go there, I'll be like, oh my god, this place sucks. Yeah, it's a good thing you're spending time. Yeah. 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 I'm not selling my house and quitting my job until I actually go there, get my feet on the ground. And <laughs> good idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's that's good. You're not just making a split second decision like yeah. oh I'm just out of here right but I do have high expectations but those can sometimes be crashed to the ground by reality <laughs> your expectations are too high sometimes sometimes but let's hope that's not the case this time hopefully not like I've watched so many videos of Bangkok though I feel like I've lived there for five years already <laughs> <laughs> Have you mapped out all the places you want to... Yeah, yeah, a lot of them. But there's so much to see there. I, like, the rest of my life I could go to a new place every day and never see everything because it's so huge. Okay, so I have a 42 over here. I have a 42 over here. Thank you. So last year, after Megan got divorced, she tried to get health insurance through the affordable years and she didn't get it because she wasn't working. I'm like, wait a minute, this is the whole affordable care like healthcare thing to help people that either don't have a job or have a job but can't afford health insurance. Right. But she didn't qualify because she didn't make any money. That's well, any, any sense at all? Well, I think if you don't make any money, you can apply for Medicaid. No. 
I know there's some some so, other cheaper. So, well, so this year she's working, so she does qualify. And unfortunately, and I didn't even know this, some employers actually do subsidize healthcare through the healthcare.gov website. I didn't even know that. Really? So her, yeah, so her employer will pay like three hundred dollars a month toward her healthcare if she signs up through healthcare.gov. Well, they then don't she, offer their own plans. No, because they don't have their own plan. Okay. Right, so the, because they don't have insurance, she qualifies for healthcare.gov, and they'll subsidize it. So she'll have to pay like. So if it's like, like a small company that doesn't have their own plan, they can at least give you some. Which I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. I thought because I mean I don't know how much healthcare is, but well, so we're gonna do like, like a lot. Like twenty-five or something like that, and she puts in like one hundred and twenty-five. Ironically, though, she just gets a letter from the IRS. You qualify for healthcare.gov for plans as low as ten dollars a month. Uh, no. Huh. So, try $450 a month. $10 a month, you can get one band aid. <laughs> yeah. Once a year. Bandage? $10. We'll send you one box of band aids. You, you get one second with a medical doctor. What's your question? Can I? You have a vaccination. No, that's funny. One poke in your arm. The vaccinations were free, Jerry, didn't you know? I mean, obviously, your yeah, companies didn't make billions of dollars. Mm-hmm. I looked at Costco. Costco, Costco okay, that's supposed to be like the cheapest place. I got like $150 for a COVID vaccine. Wow. What? Yeah, Costco. What? People are still getting those? Yeah. Well, so you see, if you're old, if you're over. I think you're high risk. Yeah, if you're high risk. But yeah, so if you're high risk. Over 65 are very high risk. Is that how you do And they're still going to come out. Happy meal. I got training minds. I got Scorpion Disco. Disco. And I put in a back order for Chronograph, or like a new one. From Caldwell. And it does a different. Is that Terry thinking the Hazel? He's thinking the Fuzz fuzz Rocket. Yeah, well, this one's they sold out that, but it's a church radar. They finally sold so out the beer they had, the fresh hops or whatever. I thought the, from the sign says they still have the fresh hop. Because it, no, since it has that radar. So oh, you mean draft? Yeah. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Uh, it just gets can. one reading, and it doesn't oh, even know exactly how far away that was. It that they got it still. Okay. So, like, the velocity could be like 20 feet. Yeah, Scorpio just goes with it. 10 feet, too. It doesn't look very hazy. So, like, that kind of... This is actually not a hazy one, but it's still tasty. I think it's more of a West Coast. More fresh hop. A little hop. That's more, yeah. I don't like it. Kind of bitter, right? I like it. I like... I think hops is bitter. (laughs) (laughs) Some of it is. Not as bad as the the, the classic IPA we used to have. It was so hoppy. I'm like, God, it's so hard to go... That's that's back when I said, you know, I didn't like IPAs. Yeah. And it's a little bit bigger than the other ones. Like, oh, the like Sierra Nevada, it still just sits, like the like we don't have to tornado or yeah, whatever it was. And it has a What's this trigger track? Yeah. if you're using a suppressor or like you're at an angle range. It has a recoil trigger you can just like throw for a water gun so that it Oh my god, come on. So does the firearm have to be at the same Jedi level? supposed to come too? Yeah. 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 still be standing at Why is stuck at 89,000, dude? You do have to aim it at 89,000. Stop looking. Oh, it has right. a little peak side on the Did you see any right. good IPAs in Bangkok? So, no. Uh, no? It has a Most IPAs are from uh, the outside on the can. Just a hole in They're from New Zealand or Australia. Huh. They're Tiny. more fruity. But, I saw so fruity, I like fruity. It came out more well, fruity type IPA. Well, that's what like, well, like jellyfish is. You can kind of try, go to H&B, buy the... Meanwhile has the New Zealand IPA. It tastes very similar. I mean, it's not cheap, it's like 500 bucks, but I mean, that's about the same price as the Doppler ones, and it seems way better. Um, so how are you lucky you're watching well, films? It it's not an Apple Watch. watch. <laughs> but is it a suitable well, it's suitable for, like, it's Yeah, it, it does, does, you know, like functionality-wise, yeah. it's pretty much there, it's just the whole... There's a, the feeling, a guy that does a the experience is like, much better on an Apple Watch. I'm glad that they have the new OS, uh, Wear OS version, because it's much more snappy. Yeah. I don't know if you ever saw it. Yeah, I've tried them before. Okay. And you try to shoot it's better. It's definitely smoother and more responsible, because before, on the previous version, like, it seemed like it lagged a little, but this one has been more smoother so far. So it's a 5 
and then he has like a point system. And, like, yeah, this one's more like a but it's, it's neat glorified good bit. Some of the people are like, I mean, all technically, over the it is. A and there's some people that don't right. hit it. Like, it is. They have 10 shots that are all like right on it. Hmm. It does show, like, when I get that was a yeah, uh, some old plane guy. I had on them. Previous, I think Samsung watch that I had, like the notifications I'd get for like my doorbell, oh, yeah. like on an iPhone that would show me a picture. Now it does show me a picture of this. Yeah, because I think before you would get also notified too late. Too. Yeah. yeah. Now it's, that, that's not a problem anymore. Oh, that's good. It's getting better over time. Like last time, well, last time he used a 7 CRC, but he had a target right there. So it was like a bolt action, but it had no magazine. So you just hand the and it was a big, heavy monstrosity. Now, the other times he used hunting rifle. It works. 42? So that was yeah, his 42. first like, dedicated yes. target. All right, is that Thank you. Didn't yes. Stuff. But he's like, used Thank all you. different calibers. Like, <laughs> Wait, hold on. Thank you. But, oh. but yeah, What kind of like pizza would you say this is like style? It's like nothing. Like American style. <laughs> <laughs> like it's, it is some sort of style. What okay. style of pizza is this? It's not thick crust. <laughs> it's pretty a thin crust, right? Yeah, I, I call it New York. Personally. New York, because New York is thin. Yeah, New, York well, New York's is a lot thinner though. The crust. It's not as thick. Or pan. New York style pizza is definitely has a lot more grease and the pepperoni is supposed to be good. You're supposed to be folded when you eat it. Yeah. It's thin pie. It's, it's good pizza. I have another size Yeah, thank you. But they have like Chicago style stuff. But the problem is if you go in and order a pizza, it takes them like four it's, or five It's not my favorite style. Oh, you're it's talking about... Um, it's still good. Oh, Tony. There's really no but they used to bad have pizza in my opinion. It's very varying degrees of good pizza. There's some pizza place down by Taco Deli near Breaker that's really good. I don't know what it's called, but I think. All of us? Uh, just a couple of them. Oh, okay. It wasn't just me. I never got them. Well, the Italian pizza is uh, great. definitely different. There's a mob pizza. <laughs> it's just like a pie with a couple of veggies on it. Yeah, yeah pretty basic. Like, yeah. <laughs> There's no cheese. Like yeah. That's one of my favorite, though. That's a Italian-style pizza that I get in Warren, Ohio. Yeah. Sunrise pizza. It's just sauce and pepperoni. I think they have cheese like underneath. It's like the Subway. Yeah. That's how you can eat their pizza. Or no, they just like sprinkle Parmesan on it. Yeah. But it's still good. I think it's mainly the sauce. It's like all in the sauce. The flavor of the sauce is really good. And they put a lot of sauce on it. Have you eaten a lot of Thai food? Hmm? Have you eaten a lot of Thai food? Mm -hmm. Be careful though. The Thai food we're eating here is called Isan food. They're spicy and uh, has a lot of coconut. But the Bangkok has a lot of Thai food. It tastes nothing like that. Really? Yeah. How's it different? It tastes less spicy. Really? Uh, also less coconut, less, less curry. Huh. I'm sure you can still get like Isan style you get, Bangkok. You, you, have to find it. you have to see, know what you would eat. Yeah. We're used to Isan style. Yeah. That's why when I go there, I'm like, what is this? Right. <laughs> you know, I want to try like the different styles too. There's a different style like the southern, like crabby styles, different too. I think they do a lot of different kind of curries. It's longer than the one I have. Mm. Yeah, but it's low pressure. I like Thai curry. Thai Yeah. Well, you can put it on black. You can put it on three and black. You can do it on and super on black. 
I like Penang curry a lot. Oh, you need to go to uh, the yep. mall, Red the curry. in the mall. Oh, so that's why have so many choices. Just, just get the pick whatever you want to eat. Every day, have a target the, what you want to eat. Yeah, I'm staying right next to Terminal 21, which is like one of the cheapest food courts there are there. You can, that's where you get like a dollar, two dollar dishes. Like, <laughs> yeah. So it's longer though than mine. That's the thing. It's it's take eighty. Well, they have the hybrid forty six M, so the M is modular. Right. So it's like it's also that you can cut it down. Right. But then when you cut it down, it doesn't do as much. It's right. Then it's like the K model. It's yeah. Small the Thai food is so much cheaper well, there than here. Looking at the other one, yeah. or is it ZTM? Here it's a. So that's the one that's not a specialty where you're paying a premium here to get it. Well, everything is more expensive. Even ramen is like 20 bucks a bowl now. You go to Tokyo, it's like seven bucks. Yeah. What the fuck's going on here? Right. But you eat the best ramen, seven bucks. Over here, like fast ramen, 20 bucks. <laughs> Well, it's also interesting like, that over in, in Tokyo, you use the little vending machine to like, choose all your choices, yeah. and all you do is you just go in there and dip them on the little <laughs> But the there. Mm -hmm. So when I did it, they had a video. Oh. I, can I can't believe it. I can't believe he cut the haircut, too. Because, uh... Yeah. Um, John Cooper's even, son cut the haircut. The deal, even shaved all the way down. You got a free, uh, no, you cut it. Too. At that point, it was <laughs> octane forty-five. You got a free pistol. If you spent over, I think like and Mark Henderson, when did you buy, when did you Mark buy got did you short buy haircut, trimmed yeah, his beard out. Mark Henderson finally looks like yeah, old Mark Henderson. Him. Yeah. So I'm waiting. That's why I'm waiting. Shaved his beard down. When are you shaving the beard down? I don't know. Look younger. I'll keep it trimmed. Yeah, in Japan, the ramen shop all has vending machines. You pay. Nope, just take the ticket. I don't know who is this person. For what? Ramen. Especially when I had it long. Oh, okay. Like, I'm just going to shoot The vending machine pay for what you want. It normally costs about 700, 800 yen. It's so like <laughs> less than 10. Uh, you less, dye your hair gray and get some less Santa Claus. That's uh, $78. <laughs> nice. Well, yeah, I saw they have a lot of like all you can eat, sushi places in Bangkok. Somebody was telling me And then the places where they have... Uh, and they just, like the, like the I didn't realize they paid conveyor the belt. Yeah, sixty. Like, Thank like, you. Really? Yeah. So apparently, nope. the Santa Claus the conveyor like belt where there's like different color plates and you pull like hair, off what you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were paying them like I've never been to one of them. That's not for tourists. Oh yeah. Wow. Like, Jesus. What happened to conveyor belt here too? But like fifteen hundred bucks. Nice, good. Couple hours. Yeah. For Jason, perfect. I, I have this cannonball, <laughs> and I can take your buzzer. Enjoy. Yeah, I was like, they have conveyor belt ones in yeah. Austin. Yeah. Bucks now. yeah. Where at? Oh, for sushi. Yeah. 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 Really? What's a place called? Um, cool. Cool. Oh, it's one of the cool. 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 It's like an like, uh, airport. Right? Yeah, by airport. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Mm. Oh, I'll grow here. <laughs> yeah, the, they're the only, they're the only conveyor belt one. Why are you going to do this? It's awesome. almost Christmas time. <laughs> By the airport, that's a long way away. No, not that airport. Airport I Boulevard. Guess you're Stephen, or something like that. Mm. By one eighty three. Then for next, one eighty three north, north of Lamar. Okay. Yeah, it's not too far. They, I think it's mm. close to the the Chinatown. They got there, a different right? China because the other one was too expensive. Mm. First of all, I don't consider this. Like, uh, <laughs> that's a lot of Vietnamese town, but, <laughs> but it does have some Chinese stuff. Right <laughs> well, I mean, just like by, Asian town. Yeah. Over they just the, the, the 99 like, Ranch and all that stuff. Isn't it yeah, over there? Like yeah. Natural facial area. Yeah. That's that's yeah. definitely a more. Well, that but they have they have a long gray beard. A lot of Korean restaurants too. So yeah. I want to. It's actually more Korean. Well, full. Depends on how much Santa pays. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> I mean, at that kind of rate, you could get a year's salary in like a couple of months. <laughs> Especially now that they're starting Christmas stuff at the beginning of That's November. Good. Yeah, Bass Pro did their Santa Claus like two weeks ago. Seriously? Uh -huh. yeah. It's earlier and earlier. 
and the Black Friday is really no Black Friday. <laughs> Black Friday starts like the whole month. Yeah. Well, I'm going to just go. Pretty soon we'll just be getting January off and we'll be putting Christmas stuff out in February. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that already people are putting out Christmas decorations and yeah. trees and stuff like that. I'm like, good lord, it's not even Thanksgiving time yet. People putting out Christmas decorations. Yeah. I saw someone posted on like Instagram. Most people in my neighborhood never took their Christmas decorations Yeah. Literally. Leave them up permanently. Some places they do that. Yeah, they build them in to the house. But you can change the color. Yeah. Always Christmas. Yeah. No, the, they, you can make them like those, Halloween and different things. They got those smart things. lights. Smart lights, you can put them under the ceiling you can, all year long. Yeah. 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 I want to do so that. I want to do like that right Years now. ago, quit taking her Christmas tree down and she would just decorate it for like whatever holiday was coming <laughs> up. So it would be like the Valentine's tree. Memorial like Day tree. July tree. And like <laughs> what? <laughs> I want a tree for every occasion. Old and retired, I think she just needed something to do, and I was like, whatever. She doesn't hurt me, thing. Oh, Labor Day tree, oh, Labor Day tree. <laughs> <laughs> we could just say, oh, holiday tree. <laughs> That's what holiday tree. Yeah. So you think Jake Paul's gonna get murdered tonight on Netflix? No, I think he's he's gonna end Tyson pretty quick. What? <laughs> <laughs> What's the age difference here? It's like a lot. Twenty something, yeah. No, that's Apparently not. he hasn't watched the highlights of Tyson training. Right. Well he looks like old Tyson. Well, like his his last little exhibition fight, he was really bad. Well, he That's why. Well, he didn't get into like Roy Jones Jr. Remember he had a fight with that? Yeah, that was all money. Yeah. It's like yeah. it did nothing. He he didn't care. He's so slow. Yeah. You say that, but he's fighting Roy Jones Jr. Roy Jones Jr. would mop the floor with Jake Paul. Right. Roy Jones Jr. is one of the greatest like fighters of all time. He didn't hit Roy Jones Jr. because Roy Jones Jr. is really hard to hit. Jake Paul is not really hard to hit. Yeah, but Tyson Tyson <laughs> talks about when he really gets like ready for a fight, like he gets into like beast mode, like he gets crazy. Yeah, you watch the Joe Rogan and interview, he, yeah. and he's like, yeah, I interviewed him before he was training, and yeah. I interviewed him when he was training. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, I thought about getting a smaller table, but then I had Tyson, and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah I need, need some the, distance. We need the biggest <laughs> table possible. Uh, he's like, I was terrified. He's like... Yeah, it wasn't like he was like. And Tyson know, talks about like I don't I don't like how I feel when I you know. No, like, Tyson's focused. He, he like focused. gets crazy. Tyson <laughs> is his focused. Version of like method acting. Huh? Yeah. Tyson he, said, he gets into a crazy zone. Tyson said he's a natural born killer. Yeah. Well, he said he doesn't he doesn't like training because he doesn't want to talk to his wife. He doesn't want to do anything like he just wants to train and be like. Yeah. Hyper-focused. Yeah, so they, he's he's woken up the beast again. The last fight, he didn't. He, they, that was like an exhibition fight. It was oh. so boring. He, he did, <laughs> yeah. Also, he likes Roy Jones. Right. So did I want to hit him? Yeah, he, he wants to knock Jake Paul's head off. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you watch the Roy Jones Jr. interview, he was like, yeah, I was just trying not to like yeah. go crazy and piss Tyson off because yeah. he's Tyson. I didn't but want to hurt like, anybody. He was really hard to hit. Like He didn't used to be that hard to hit. And, like Now it was like he was dodging punches and like he was doing all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think the real Tyson's coming out for this one. We'll for, see. For one last time. I'll see if he's 50 years old and can do that shit. But we'll see. At like seven o'clock tonight, right? Yeah, yeah. Netflix. I calls. saw the odds. I think I forgot who was favored. There wasn't that big a difference. Really? Jake Paul's gonna try to run away for three rounds, try to wear Tyson out. Mm -hmm. He's gonna play Hollyville's strategy. Yeah. Just dodging, dodging, tire him out. The only problem is he's still Tyson. If he lands anything. Yeah. Well, he called it one uppercut. He just has to connect. Yeah. <laughs> he called Tyson's slap was a little little girl hit. We'll see. We'll see what's gonna happen with the punch. 
<laughs> well, Tyson can't punch him right there, because then... <laughs> Another fight, right? Yeah. It's going to be a fight. <laughs> Plus, it drums up interest. You know, him slapping it, so... Hell, they probably rehearsed it before. Probably. Alright, gentlemen, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Settle Bob. Nice. Yeah, taking a grub, which is Uber in Thailand. Yeah. A lot of time it's slower than walking and taking. Uh, yeah, if you get in a car, but they have grab bikes so you can get on the back of a motorcycle. Are faster, yeah, yeah. yeah. they weave in between the cars. Yeah. That's like the fastest way to get around. Yeah, but you do have to hug those guys. Yeah. <laughs> Sit down, little bike. Hold on for dear life. Little bike, little bike. So they're following them in. Like how good? Well, the Honda Click is a very so popular one over there, like, which is like 150 cc. Yeah. He's on the side of the hill. He'll be like a little moped. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I said like the, the podium. I see some big guys sitting on, the, on those before. He starts to reach. There are some bigger ones, like 300 cc maybe, but you don't see much bigger than that around Bangkok because you have to have a small bike to fit in between the cars. Wow. Down. But just going up and down like Sukhumvit Road, you could do the BTS Sky Train quick and cheap. But those, uh, probably like 50 cents to go like a stop or two, and maybe like the most would be a dollar. Yeah, to go like pretty far. Yeah, and then those moto taxis. It's like a dollar to go across town on the back of moto taxi. I don't know about the actual taxis. What are how much are those like for to go? We don't ride those. You didn't. We only do grab. Grab. Well, how much was like a grab to go two or three miles? Depends on traffic. The app will tell you the price. It's not that expensive. I forgot how much it is. Only my wife puts it. I don't, I don't ever do grab. Oh, you didn't do it? Yeah. yeah, I've already got my credit card, and there's Bolt. Bolt's the other one. So it's like grab. It's the, it's like we have Uber and uh, Lyft here. They have Bolt and grab. Oh, okay. Competitors. How much is the, uh, like, uh, as, uh, card to use your phone over there? You can get like an unlimited plan. Like if you actually go to the airport, it's more. So, but it's still cheap. You probably get how much was yours for sell for like? Did you get a week long one or something? Yeah, three weeks. Three weeks. Uh, two weeks. Two weeks for how much? I forgot. It's, it's, it's probably it's like twenty cheap. bucks or something. Yeah, about ten bucks or twenty bucks. I forgot. And you can get a plan that's like unlimited. If you actually go to the the mall and go to a real AIS store which is their top network there and you get one for unlimited for 12 bucks a month yeah and they're fast yeah it's fast but people show up at the airport and it's like 20 bucks for unlimited for that's two cheap. weeks that's, that's cheap yeah cheap. but it's <laughs> but it's like that's like over double what the actual rate is. Look at they always think tourists don't know that there's other options out there. Right. Well, and you may only be at the airport. You if you lay over for three hours, like, are you really going to go into yeah. town to get a cell phone call? Yeah. You can just if it's, it's no big deal if it's, if you really have to have it, you know? I mean, same thing, like, gas stations on the highway are always higher because they know you're not going to go right. look for anywhere else that's further in that's yeah. actually cheaper. So, well, way. plus, like, is it really worth you driving five miles to save 75 cents on gas? Right. Like, <clears throat> yeah, and the airport there is probably like half hour from downtown Bangkok, so... Is that yeah. You could take a train from there, or taxi, grab... Train... 
the train? No, I probably we, we, we had a driver. We had a driver. Oh, okay. We hired a car. Driver. Nice. You're nice. Oh, I have kids, so I have to worry about that stuff. So. I do drive a mini bus. There's an app car. I've, I've channeled myself. Like, if they need me for an interview. What was your favorite place you went to while you're there? A favorite experience I've been in general? Uh, uh, Ink Seal. Ink Seal Cave. Yeah. There's like 117 episodes. Oh, I don't have any. Uh, there you go. Watch, uh, okay, here. Yeah, the picture that's, of, the air, that's the airport. The airport prices. So 30 days for that's about 30 bucks, thousand baht. So that's about twice the price of what it would be if you went to the to the mall and got a plan. But that's unlimited. A 10 megabits per second. Uh, so max speed is twelve hundred baht, so that's like thirty six dollars. And then max five G unlimited is eighteen hundred baht. That's like thirty six dollars, right? I forgot to convert it. Or no, it's anybody watch the first episode? It's more than that. That's like fifty two dollars. I've heard good things. Eighteen hundred baht. Let me. Let me fact check. Watch fact check myself. This first episode is very simple. I think 1800 baht oh, okay. well, is $52. No, that's what happened in this episode. Okay. We'll, we'll do, do a real so conversion now. Like, okay. Put that in the story. Thank you. Take a set of both from you, sir. It's 5169. I was way off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I was doing the uh, 1800. Oh. <laughs> 1800 baht. I said, I, connection. yeah, I said it was $52. It was 51.89. I was way off. <laughs> I got, I got my conversions down in my head. I think for Thailand, we didn't really go to tourist attraction. The Thaias are good, but uh, of course, different kind of fun. You go eat seafood, whatever, but. Uh, who has a tour guide to take us to, to visit? You know, visit the ancient, ancient city. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Ayataya. Yeah. <coughs> See the Buddha head growing in the tree. Yeah. But other than that, it's like fucking city life. Yeah. Yeah. Love the food. I, I don't like Chinatown. It's too fucking crowded. Pretty crazy. Uh, because it's too hot during the time too. It's so hectic. Yeah. <laughs> so many well, that's why the nightlife there is so so active, because people don't want to go out during the day. So there's a lot of night markets and people doing stuff at night where when it's cooler. When it's like 80 degrees instead of 90. About two months ago, I smashed it with Pulling a clamp off and it was between the clamp and the clamp. So the whole thing was black. I thought it was going to lose it a lot. I thought the thing was going to fall off. Don't lose a finger. <laughs> That'll take a while to go away, the blood. Yeah, probably another month before it's on the back tomorrow. Well, the nail base has to grow out. I ripped both of my big toenails off once skiing. <laughs> I bought ski boots and I'm like, these feel too small. Like, no, you want them tight. You want them really tight on your feet. And I went off a big jump and landed and you know smashed forward into the shoe. Like I told you, these boots were too small. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds good. Yeah. Is it really painful to walk through the rest of the? I, I actually, when it hit, it was it wasn't that pain, that painful really. And then I I didn't even notice it. Like, you know, it wasn't excruciating pain when Tunnels it happened. Are worse later. Yeah. yeah. So like, then I took my boots off and my socks were just like soaked in blood. <laughs> like, Ooh. what the heck happened? And then I took my socks off and my toenails were just like dangling from the quick. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs>
then they just eventually just fell off. But I actually had an ingrown tail no uh, toenail problem well, up until that point. Fix it? Up in, yes. That's awesome. So if you want to fix your ingrown tail, just rip just toenail, just rip your toenail off. That's fucking <laughs> awesome. It'll be totally fixed. So what you're saying is when they do that torture where they rip your fingernails and toenails out, yeah. it's not really that bad, right? Oh. Huh? Well, <laughs> if you, if you, if you do it, it if you do it quick enough, I mean, yeah, if you do it quick enough. It's still torture. All right. Yeah. Well, I need you to make a video demonstrating. <laughs> Here's my science experiment. Well, do, doing it in, in ski boots is definitely the way to do it. <laughs> it's going to do it, I guess. Well, and I think they I mean, just getting pliers and slowly pulling on it, oh. I can imagine that would just be well, agonizing. I think they That's do your fingernails. It's just like ripping a band-aid off, you know? Your fingernails are worse. It's a lot worse yeah. than that, though. Oh, yeah. A lot more sensitivity in your fingers, fingertips. Other, other nerve ends over there, so... Yeah. Yeah, I hit my finger with a baseball one time, and like my fingernail was like pretty much just like loose all the way back, and like it was bleeding for like four days too. Jeez, yeah. couldn't really like do anything about it. I was surprised that one didn't like fall off early. Like I've, I've lost a few of them over the years. So even though you wrapped it and everything like that, it yeah, just it kept on bleeding. Because you couldn't like get Easy. pressure on that. Oh, enough it pressure on that. Yeah. It wasn't like bleeding a lot, it just like bleeding like a little bit. But then I still had to play baseball and my finger was all swelled up. Uh -huh. So then I would like throw with these two fingers, which was like... Uh -huh. Didn't work out as well. Oh, were you well, you can throw okay, but it's like you can't throw your little as hard. Mm. Were you pitching or was that like... No, I wasn't pitching. No. But that's like in baseball, like a lot of times to throw a change up, use these two fingers. Right. Because it just like slows it down, but it's like the same motion. But but yeah, not ideal. <laughs> no, I probably wouldn't elect to have any of my nails pulled off again. <laughs> but having experienced it once, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> Was it because it was too cold out the toenails? Isn't yeah. <laughs> and, and, yeah, and ingrown toenails oh, were worse than that. that that's for sure. Terrible. Yeah, this is just constant, just growing into your toe. And even after you think you fixed it. Yeah, it just grows right back in. It's horrible. I've heard uh, all the old timers would say you cut a notch in your toenail. You have an ingrown toenail, and that like lets it like flex, so it like a lot well, of like pressure. This way. So if your toe is yeah, like this, center. you would cut it like. And if it's growing like into the sides, you can cut it like, yeah, straight down the middle. Like, this way. The same way as the toe, yeah. So it basically would just weaken it so that it would like not... Not pushing the push skin. in as much. That sounds dangerous though. You don't want to go too deep. That hurt. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> we done? He should dare to want to have a beer. <laughs> chug, 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 chug. Take care of that. This oatmeal stout is not very oatmeal. What happened? Oh, is that the thickums? It's just, yeah, it's just like really plain. It doesn't have a lot of food. Hey, Jerry, I'm going to jake this about it. Like, you seen it with a PM kind of right? Yeah, that. Like, the heavy hazy? That was that actually just the texture of that. That was just plus. Yeah. Well, when you get like an oatmeal so style, I think what it like is is chocolate, the, like, they want it's always like a toss up. Like, sometimes you're like, well, I have a feeling this really tea like, not like, oh, it has hints of chocolate, board. this and that. And you're like, yeah, they're both are ice cream. And then the other ones, you're like, oh, yeah, you definitely like. That's odd because I had one that was a Yeah, they actually emailed me or messaged me on Signal last week and asked me to this week. Their lunch is the third week, and they had one yeah. this week, so it's an oatmeal stout, though. Hmm. Really? Yeah. So Gene Sheets, and Josh works there. Yeah. But he's in an ISG, like a real fancy. Like, Let me look at the. Uh, Where are they going? Where the fuck? I had to be very sure we talking about every third week, whatever. That's why well, it's not the it's it's really it's it's much. It's not much of a flavor, but it's a. It's a this is the best lunch. lunch. Well, like that lunch, the people that go to that lunch, like they, were, they were at Dell like for 20, uh, 30 years. That's like a long time. Yeah. 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 Like still yeah, there, so it was or a truffle, or whatever. Yeah, they had a truffle. Oh, jeez. 
Mm. And it was delicious. Your Xbox under Kevin. Was like, I was drinking. Uh, I, I, uh, there's two guys who used to work for support. I'd go up to the front lady. I don't think I've ever seen anybody drink this much in that <laughs> Like, oh, I don't know if that's good. Oh, no. This is like an 8% or something. I know all those people. Well, I told you when I started in e-services, I don't know, like seven years ago or whatever, the goal at that point was to get rid of support altogether and only have online support. Oh, really? Yes, that was their goal, was to have no human support at all. That didn't work out. So no phone. Well, Not no, yet, anyway. Well, there was no timeline. It's right. just eventually. Oh yeah. Yeah, eventually, no human support. They need their AI. Oh. AI will get a lot right. of it. They're at their Ryan, not Kevin. So I think Under that's going to be that's very difficult. Yeah. But you yeah, definitely no, can have no front That's why I left. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. James Joyner. Well, it really depends on how much you're to support. And also, Chelsea right. Ubray got moved. Well, like if I go, if I have like problems with my internet, they were like, there's no number to call or chat with JT. You have to go through the online. Like automated system, yeah. like, no, it gets all the it gets all the low hanging fruit stuff. I got move under. And then eventually, it's like you're pushing all the other right. <laughs> Well, it's getting better because some of the like you know the uh, Google AI stuff, it's, it's, or even yeah, the Chat GPT stuff, oh, like you, know, you feel like you're talking to a real human. So it's not just a press one for it, blah blah blah. It's like how can I help you today? You know, it's like you're talking to a real person now. So it's it's gotten a lot better. Yeah. What's funny is, like, I don't know. It just makes you do all the stuff you already did. It's like you got to reboot your modem. Yeah. Like, well, realistically, yeah. For, for the average person that didn't do anything, it's, it's right. Yeah, yes, do but it. it doesn't let you go. Yeah, I already did. Or it right. doesn't look. I mean, hell, they could look at the log and go, Oh, he already did that. Yeah. But no, they're like, like, all right, reboot the modem. That makes it tough with all the best practice stuff. Well, that and mine's like a latency and speed issue, and they're like, we show your devices are connected, your stuff's working. And I'm like, <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. That did. <laughs> yeah, so I got a camera notification the other day for somebody in my front yard. So I look up and it's a fiber guy. He's doing an install for the people next door. Oh, that's cool. I just tapped off your phone. A minute later, my app made like, oh. uh -huh. like, oh. Let me, I gotta split that. So I go, <laughs> so I go outside and I'm like, hey, dude, my internet's down. He doesn't speak English. Oh, nice. Oh, no. Do you see how GPT? He only speaks English. <laughs> so he gets out Google Translator yep. and starts to talk into the phone and it shows me. And you look at it, I have no fucking idea what he's saying. Does Google <laughs> Translate? Yeah. So then after he fixes it, I go back out and I'm like, Por que? I know Google Spanish. I'm like, why? So he talks into it and it's it. And I'm like, whatever, dude. Yeah. Like, Google Translate sucks. Yeah. It's either, pretty bad for Thai too. Either that or his Spanish is really bad. Fresh yeah. That could be. It's not on the board. Well, All right, well, it's a good lunch. The problem with Google Translate is a